Hi, I'm Ariana and I'm with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you guys? Hi, Hi. nice to meet you, Ariana. Nice to meet you. So could you guys talk a, a bit further more about your role on the show? Absolutely. We are the astrologers and the matchmakers for Cosmic Love, which means we're involved from the very beginning, from the concept of trying to come up with a show that actually made astrology interesting for the viewer. Um, so we chose the reality format, and, and then we looked at hundreds of charts of cast to whittle down to 20 people uh, who were the top contenders for the show, and then we did a lot of matching to, you know, looked at their sun, moon, the whole thing to figure out who belonged with who. Awesome. So how important is birth time when doing this? Because unfortunately, I don't know my birth time because I was born in a very unconventional way. So how <laughs> essential is that when looking and matching with people and people knowing their astrological, uh, astrological story? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, to get the most precise chart, you do need your time, but there's still some of the planets move pretty slowly. So you can get enough of a portrait of someone. There are a lot of people in the world who don't know their time of birth, but there's so much astrological data you can still get for matching. So you should still do it. <laughs> awesome. Um, and a lot of people know, and it was mentioned on the show, a lot of people know their sun sign, which people just kind of know, um, call their star sign. Which um, kind of sign do you feel like doesn't get enough attention that it actually deserves? You, yeah, you know, um, Venus and Mars, when it comes to love, like a lot of people know their big three, their sun sign, their moon sign, which is their inner emotional nature, very important. And as you mentioned, the rising sign that you need to know the birth time for, that's your outward personality. But Venus and Mars are gonna show you your style of love, sex, seduction, what you need to stay turned on, hot turns and happy. You off. Yeah. yeah, and so, Venus is gonna be either the same sign, one sign away or two signs away. Mars can be a lot farther. So, you know, your Venus and Mars signs may be very different. We're Sagittarius sun, but we have Venus and Mars and Scorpio. Are you you too? Yes. Yeah. December 2nd, when are you? December 10th. No oh, way, yay. Yes. <laughs> Sag sister. Yes. Yes. So do star sign qualities show up differently in different gender identities? You know, that is a question that astrologers have definitely started to look at differently. Um, every facet of how you identify will affect the way you express your zodiac sign. If you identify as a male, you may, you know, express it through different ways than a female identified person. But the qualities of the zodiac signs are not gender specific. For sure. And while you were doing the show, were you surprised about what you predicted turning out true or not turning out in the way that you thought, or even with some of the elements really going against the advice of the portal. <laughs> well, it was amazing. You know, there were a couple matches that were like, oh my God, these two need to, why aren't they seeing each other? But eventually they did. Um, so they, you know, and yes, of course, all of the four elements defied our advice a few times. But then wound up, you know, they realized, oops, maybe I should have listened. You know, things did end up going the way we predicted so often that they were like, maybe I'll try this out after all. For sure. And Nigel had mentioned, he mentioned his birth order. Do you guys, I know you're astrologists, but I feel like you probably consider everything. Do you feel like birth order can kind of affect how you match with others? Absolutely. It, I mean, everything, you know, everything. let's say... You're a Gemini and you're the youngest, well, you may, you know, have a lot more of the indecisive qualities of a Gemini because your older sibling bossed you around, uh, for example. So it all plays in. Mm -hmm. For sure. And with your, um, the elements are talked a lot about on the show. Um, how does that kind of play in and how should people consider that? Because it seems like fire signs often match with fire signs and so on and so forth. How should people consider that? Well, we actually took that. That is the, the typical astrology advice that you'll get. Fire with fire, earth with earth, water, water, air, air. But we mixed it up a lot because just because they 
have a, a initial click or sort of familiarity doesn't mean that that's a great match for the long term. Sometimes an easy match, you get bored or there's not enough variety or, you know, so we, you'll see on Cosmic Love matches of every possible element combination. And we believe that any two signs can go together if they know what makes the other one tick. So it's, it's always a choice. Maybe, yeah. you, maybe you want something different than yourself. You can always think of how the two elements blend. For example, water and earth can create this really nice stable base, the shore, or it can make a muddy quicksand mess, you know? <laughs> Fire and water can create smoke, or they can just put each other out. So. It's, um, it's all about balancing the elements. Yeah, and fire and fire can just be a lot or yeah, a oh lot yeah. of good. Yeah, a lot of I feel like I definitely connect with Sagittarians and other fire sides, but sometimes it's just too much because we're yep, right. very, very honest. Well, I'm loving us a water sign to cool the temperatures down, right? <laughs> for sure. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and congrats on your yeah. show and enjoy the summer solstice. I don't know what it brings, yeah, but whatever you guys do. to you. Yeah, thanks okay. for doing this. It's great to meet you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.